Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing Funguary Part 2. In case you don't know, Funguary is a challenge put on by Fifal over on Instagram. I will link her channel in the description down below so you can go check her out. And the category this week is mystical. So I'm just going to be doing some character design sketches in gouache in my sketchbook based on each mushroom on the list. So the first one I'm going to be doing is this little blue mushroom from New Zealand. The mushroom is real little and cute, and so I wanted my design to be little and cute as well. And I kept the skin white just because I thought it contrasted nicely with all of the blue going on in the, the dress and the cap. I ended up using some red washi tape to tape off around the design so I could sponge on some textures and create some variation in the design. I love to use this technique because washi tape is really easy to cut. You can lay it onto the painting and then you can kind of see the painting through the washi tape and so you can lightly score around the edges with an X-Acto knife. And then you can use that kind of to mask off the area around it so you don't end up getting your sketchbook all dirty when you do something like sponge on textures or sometimes I use a toothbrush to do a little splatter effect. Um, it's one of my favorite easy and quick methods of masking off an area of the painting. And I finished it up with doing some outlining around the character just to make it stand out from the paper a little bit more. There wasn't a whole lot of contrast between the color of the paper and the skin of the character, so I wanted to make sure that it stood out. And I finished it off with some colored pencils, and then I added a couple little quick bows to the bottom of the dress, and she was all set. Next is this really cool purple mushroom. I really got a vibe of stars and celestial patterns from it. I love to draw moon phases. That's one of my favorite motifs in drawing. So I decided that this is the perfect opportunity to kind of mirror that very large round cap with the phases of the moon. So that's what I included behind it. The inspiration for her kind of diamond patterned star eyes was I was thinking maybe she could see the future or was really good at astrology and so I wanted to make her look as mystical and otherworldly as possible. I also wanted to take advantage of this part of the sketchbook where I only had like a horizontal space and not a very vertical space, so I took advantage by not making it a full body character, by just making it a bust and then adding the moon faces around it. I thought that helped it fit into the sketchbook a little bit more. I had a lot of fun dry brushing these textures on. The cap of this mushroom is actually the hardest of the ones that I did this week. And I don't think it turned out quite the way I wanted it to, but the real life mushroom has a really cool gradient between a sort of violet purple and like a red purple. And so I wanted to really capture something of that in the cap as well. I don't know how well it translated, but I ended up liking it when it was done. So I think it stands on its own. And so in the end, I think this is actually my favorite of the ones that I did this week. Next up, I did the fairy circle mushroom, which I love. I do see in my actual home state. All of the ones that I've seen are sort of tan or brown, but I found this really pretty reference image of these like sunset colored orange yellow ones. And I really wanted to use that for my character design, especially thinking that the prompt is mystical. I wanted it to look as otherworldly as possible. 
So I really focused on making sure that I got that gradient in there in her cap and also in the dress itself. I ended up giving her pink skin because I thought it was a good analogous color to go with her cap and her dress. I also had an idea of when I think of fairy circle mushrooms, I think about fairy circle fairies. So I thought about having fairies holding hands, but I didn't want to draw like four or five characters. So I came up with the idea of drawing six hands in a circle, almost like they're holding hands, but also like they're kind of doing a magic spell. This one was really fun to paint. I don't usually use these kinds of colors in my work very often, so it was something different that I was really fond of. For the hands, I just filled them in with some washes of flat color, um, alternating from three different colors, sort of a red, a purple, and then a yellow. And then I finished them off by using colored pencil around them to define the edges. In Photoshop, I would go and add a bit of a glow to the hands and to the mushroom character's hands as well to really emphasize that magic appearance of the whole thing. And I think that turned out pretty well. Next I did the witch's hat mushroom and it's this bright orange color which really reminded me of pumpkins. So I wanted to give her like a big round skirt and kind of make her look like she came out of a pumpkin patch. I didn't focus too hard on making the gradient on the skirt look really neat because I knew I wanted to sponge some textures over on her and on her hat. So I really just focused on getting the values and the color changes of the gradient in there and then I went in on it with my sea sponge. I wanted her to look very magical and textured and I liked having those big chunky sponge textures. I thought that those were going to really emphasize the design. I gave her cap a couple of little cuts in it to give it some interest, and I gave her a little magic wand and black gloves just to give her some contrast. Overall, I think she turned out really cute, and she's actually one of my favorites. Alright, and the final one I did this week was the Ghost Mushroom. It's this bioluminescent mushroom found once again in Australia. I really wanted to give her kind of like a high fashion collar moment with this dress. I was really inspired by the kind of shape of the mushroom. It's not like a traditional cat mushroom. And I really wanted to try to incorporate that shape in there as well. And I wanted it to glow, which is really hard to do with paint, so I knew that part of that was going to have to be done in Photoshop, but I wanted to try to get as close to that as possible. And I think my this is like the mushroom I did with the best contrast between the different elements of it. So I started with her large cape. I gave the interior parts of it a lighter value, the face the lightest value, and kind of a gradient up into the dark on that frill on her head. And then the outsides of the collar I tried to keep darker. 
And then when it came to the dress, I knew I wanted it to be darkest on the bottom and have kind of a glow coming from the core of the, of the body, so the heart area, I wanted to have the biggest glow. And the arm sleeve, I wanted to stand out from the dress as well. So that was gonna be a little bit lighter on the edges, darker in the middle. And the ghost mushroom has these really cool gills on it, so I wanted to definitely incorporate that with some stripes. So I put in some really thin lines of light colors and dark colors, and I try to kind of blend them together to really make it look like there's gills standing on top of a skin that's covering up a light from within, if that makes sense. Then in Photoshop, I went in and I really emphasized the glow. I gave the whole body a little bit of a glow as well. And overall, I think they turned out really well. I think that these are better than the weird category ones that I did, and I'm really excited to keep going. And these are the finished compositions I did in Photoshop, where I did a little digital painting of the mushrooms and just some cute little made up fun facts about them. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to. Like the video, please help get it out there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.